status report. So I've got all of the plates now have aluminum on one side glued to the HDP. Most of these still have all the support structure stuff. I've got this one here and another one outside that I'm getting ready to glue that have the supports cut off. And then this one here is all glued together and I've even attached the adapter block that lets me put on some NPT fittings. The only thing it's missing is that there's no O-rings in there right now, but I did put some bolts in here, come through the back like that. Here's a quick demonstration of the heat treating process. It's fairly simple. Just light up the torch. and pass it over the HDP in the back and forth motions relatively quick and do so for the whole plate. The plastic shouldn't get hot or anything, you just have to kind of touch it and that's what allows the glue to stick to it. It's not actually hot to the touch, just slightly warm. And then I'll take it and check for whether or not water wets to it. So here we have the setup for the first test of the battery cooling water pump, which is right here. So on the power side, it's plugged into my brother's jump box, just a 12 volt lead acid battery in there. And then on this side, I've got a, this like microcontroller thumbstick display kit thing. And that is wired up through an optocoupler uh, which has like an LED and a photo transistor inside, and that translates the 3.3 volts that this puts out into the 12 volts that that motor understands. And then we've just got a bucket of water. Intake is hooked up at the bottom there, and then it runs the outlet around like that. So we switch the jump box on. And then I just push this thumbstick forward. So that's about 30% throttle, 50%, 60%, and that's full throttle right there. I don't know if that's quite full power because the jump box is uh, kind of running low. So I've also built this prototype manifold, which only has one outlet in it right now. This prototype here has this uh, sprinkler, like NPT to hose barb fitting, basically threaded into the side of this PVC pipe. So now that it's hooked up to the pump for the first time, it'll spray everywhere, but that's okay. Here we go. Pretty solid jet. Cool some batteries. Oh, we're out of water already. Oh yeah, that's it. Here's this setup sort of indoors. This is what drives the pump. Um, so we have 12 volts going in through this white wire. That goes to the positive side of the output of the optocoupler. And then this lead right here for the resistor is the signal. And this other one is ground for the 12 volts. What happens is, is that the optocoupler switches on and off. And then this resistor keeps it at zero, keeps it at zero volts when it's off. And then when the optocoupler comes on, this, this lead goes up to 12 volts ish. And this is a current limiting resistor for the LED side of the optocoupler. And that's wired up to an I.O. pin and ground as a normal LED would to the microcontroller. And I've got this joystick here. As I push that further up, it increases the speed and figures out what duty cycle the PWM should be. The pump has some digital control stuff inside, so it's not zero PWM is full stop, 100% is 100%. There's a few other things sort of in between. Uh, so at a minimum, it's... The duty cycle is 30 out of 255, 
and that's the reset mode for the pump. And then this here is the 12 volt, well, 13 power supply, all wired up to a USB battery bank. The only problem I've had with this setup is uh, I had to change out this resistor because I wasn't getting enough current through the optocoupler to really make that output go. But other than that, it worked.